but what was a, a collector of, of Hungarian folk songs. And he actually thought it was really important to kind of preserve the Hungarian culture uh, in the early 20th century when recording technology started to come about. He knew that, that the, the folk music of his, of his country would be kind of overtaken by Western music and Western pop music, and et cetera. So he did, he collected a lot, a lot of uh, music from, he just went out in the countryside. So uh, this, this is a set of dances. These, these do not have words to them. They were either for a violin or a flute solo. And so I put next to them, you know, I won't even attempt the Hungarian. Okay, so I did the, uh, so the only one I don't know, it says, okay, it's, a butch, a butch jump or something. I don't even know what that is. But anyway, one of them is a polka. One of them is on the on, on the spot on the in one place. What does it say on the spot? Mm -hmm. So I think it's like it's turning, just like a just turning in the same place over and over again. That kind of thing. It could have kind of hypnotic thing. Anyway, then there's a, then there's a fast dance at the end, and it is fast, right? Okay. So, so let's take about.
which means like a night song. And uh, first one C sharp minor, which is in book seven, and the other one is B flat minor, which is uh, from his first opus of, of Nocturne.
privilege to be their teacher. Yeah. So I thank you all for being here. And uh, we heard some really nice music this afternoon. So thank you both for playing. So we have, you know, this one, one of the kids always wants to know what a recital. What kind of cookies are we having? <laughs> <laughs> so please join us for a little while, huh? Thank you. Thank you. 